Hello viewers, today I'd just like to show how to test the polarity of a microwave oven transformer. And this is one video where I will do a disclaimer. Unless you have serious electrical engineering knowledge or a fourth year college degree in electrical engineering, I do not recommend that you do this at all because you can easily backfeed 2 kV or 14 kV or whatever into your wall by doing this. So with that being said, on a standard transformer, since this is an additive polarity, you have X1, X2, and X3. They will even say so on the specifications plate. Because this transformer has a coil voltage less than 9000 volts and under 200 kVA, it's an additive polarity transformer. Let's see, 13200 ground Y7620. But with these no brand made in China microwave oven transformers, it's kind of hard to tell and trust. So you're going to want to do a test setup here. With 120 volts coming in and connect the hot wire to the H1 terminal or the wire coming out of the coil, H2 on MOTS is always the ground. And then what you're going to want to do is jumper from the hot wire to the first terminal here on the microwave oven transformer. And then you're going to want to energize the circuit and measure the output of this terminal here. But before you do that, you're going to want to measure the voltage coming in, 123, and the voltage going out is 6 volts. And if you actually work that backwards, the 6 volts would appear that this has a much higher ratio than it does. It would appear that this would put out 2400 volts but the reason why this is only puts out 2 kV, even though it appears to have high ratio, is small transformers like this struggle to step up voltage. They can't fully step up the voltage. But transformers like this one here uh, are nearly perfect. It's a near 1 to 1 ratio. They can step up voltage very easily. Um, if I were to step this up and s stuff it into another 76 20 volt transformer, you would not be able to measure the difference. But with smaller transformers, they do struggle to step up voltage. But what you want to do is just power it on. And then measure from this, from the ground to this terminal here. And if the voltage is more than 123 or whatever your voltage is, then that means that this is an additive polarity transformer. If it was less than, that would mean that it was a subtractive polarity transformer. So that means with this one here, this is the X1 terminal, and that is the X2 terminal. If it was a subtractive polarity, which means that you'd be getting 117 volts, you would be right here, this would be X1, and that would be X2. So I'm going to make a note right there saying that that's X1, that's X2, because this is an additive transformer. But I uh, just hope this helps. Catch you in the next video.